Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Binding Bicycles to a Challenge Run and let's forget about Challenge 8 and let's go into 14. It's in the cards. Um, I don't know if I've done the ones after this. This might be the last one. So, Passage and Death. Let's use Passage. Oh no wait, that wasn't what I wanted. But hey, gave us a trapdoor. You know that you know in a way that was a good time to use it because who knows that could have given us one of those items in that walkway. Chaos card. I don't think I've ever used this before. What does it do? What the? What? <laughs> um. Okay. Well, now we know that chaos card just flies in through more. I wonder if it does a ton of damage to anyone that it touches. Maybe good for boss fight? I don't, I, I don't know. Oh, look at that, we can shoot. Yep, just base Isaac with a bunch of cards. Fantastic. I know. You think to yourself, I should. Why are you not excited for this run? Because it's base Isaac. There is no upgrades. But. Oh, but if we see Brimstone in the devil. Yes. Oh yes, that is what we need. Good old person. Now we'd have to rely on passive damage. We can just actually do damage. You know, just stand here. Well, I got that all the same. It's because I'm not used to actually being able to fire, man. I'm not used to this. What game is this? You actually attack? What? I like games where you just stand there and hope that no one kills you. Mm, my favorite. My favorite part of those games is when you actually can't even hit them and they just hit you. Mm. Yep, favorite. But that stupid challenge is done with. Uh, cat got your, cat's got your tongue still exists and that makes me a little bit sad. But all we need is a uh, rotten baby and everything will be fine with that. So we just have to play that like 20 more times and just really hope. Really, that's all we need. Play that like a hundred times, get a few de deals with the devil, one of them is surely gonna have a little brimstone or that. Yeah, one day. That destroyed a rock. Okay, range up. Not great. And what is our card? The two of spades. Doubles our keys, I believe. Which we could do now. But why would we? If we used it when we would see our keys, it would do just as well. So pointless to us to do now. Worthless to do it the one to the time. Should we just uh, I guess we should play through. Maybe there's something worthwhile here. Maybe there's fire drops polyphemus. No? Maybe there's poop drops. Got it, and there's how we're gonna go out here for and super wrath is the reason we should stick around. And then Super Wrath is horrible when there's rocks because his bombs sometimes go over rocks. Sometimes that doesn't oh, so that's cool. Maybe in the original game they went over rocks. Maybe that's what it is. I remember versing double Super Wrath in our first room and just having the worst time of my life. That could be a secret room there. Or it could be here. Let's go here yeah, first guess. Nope. Let's go here yeah, second guess. Marvelous. Double bombs. Should we blow up these things? Might get health up. Oh, oh all stats up, I mean. Is that all stats up? That's all stats up. Awesome. <laughs> you gotta love when that works out. Down to the next floor. Might as well have gone through to the boss room, but hey, it's 30 frames per And hey, 30 frames per second is gone. Literally tapping the stop record button fixes it. I do not understand what's wrong with it. There's a lot of things in this game like that. It's like, seriously, I don't think it could have been that difficult to fix during game engine. Just redo the engine if it's that bad. Oh well. Not my place to judge. But my place to criticize, because you know, I am the consumer. They make the games for me, or well, not me specifically, but I am one of the many they make the game for. And, you know, 
Many are like me, they like to record it, and many are like me, they have problems recording it. So, you know, do with that you will, what you will. Come here, you blubbering idiot. Come here. Ah, and what are you, the Emperor? And what are you, High Priestess? Oh, High Priestess Mother is watching you. Emperor. Death. Okay, let's go in here and use this arm monster. Please don't be jumping when it happens. Yes! If he jumped, it would have gone for me. Oh, this is fun. Oh, awesome. And awesome, because they aren't. <laughs> I was really worried. I really hate having items. It's like, do I want to pick it up? But that was really nice of you, Satan. Satan, you were very kind this time. Okay. So now... Oh, we have a lot of health now. Awesome. Two spades. Now let's quickly go over here and see if we can use our keys on something. Because if we could do, find two golden chests and use both our keys... Then... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but... I mean, it doesn't really get us anymore. Either way, it's going to give us two keys. But if we do it this way, then... Uh, there's not really any reason. I just want to do it this way. Okay, guys. But whatever happens, we don't do, we don't use it if we only have one key. Because uh, then it only gives you one key back. Having no keys... Wait. Having no keys gives you two? Yes. That's quite correct. Well, I guess we'll never know. Let's use it. Why did you want to use it, Ashley? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's because I already have two cards. I want the Emperor so that when we want to just get to the boss and beat the boss, we can, you know? So it's just the mum fight. So if we get, like, Krampus's head on the devil room before, you know, depths too or whatever, go down to the next floor, teleport the egg, insta killer, you know? Get it out of the way with. Um, but that's just me. It's my preference. Now we gotta make sure that we don't lose the spirit heart so we don't take any weird heart damage so that we get a deal with the devil. Cool, almost took damage here. Yeah. And we get brimstone. Thank you. You're helping me out. Maybe you could drop some rock? No, but I'm not mad. That small rock would have been really nice. That would have been my third damage up. That would have been. Fantastic. First one being all stats up, second one being meat. Third one being all stats up. No, third one being small rock. If it had a bit. Which it didn't. And that was fun. That was great fun. Ah, this is actually quite a nice challenge run, you know. A little bit challenging because there's no item rooms or anything of the sort, but uh, it's got everything else, man. I can shoot. Yeah, that's about what I want, man. And I just get lucky with items. Mainly just, I can shoot. You. You are. You want to die? Is that a yes? Do sometimes they, like, have their only tears. It's like, hey, man. You should only get that once with a beaten mum. And I chose the angel part. Only then. Horrible down in hell when they have lasers. Mm. The world. Let's do it. Why? Because why not? Oh, there's no. Oh, no, wait. The world doesn't show you the super secret room, does it? I guess I could have saved it. Oh, well. I thought it did. But no, it still just shows you the secret room. Oh! Ah. Oh. Dang. I didn't even know you could get that in the secret room, but... Hey. Um... I have one cent. I don't know why I came in here. Hey, boss room, if you want to drop the, uh... Pageant boy, I'd actually be happy. As long as it had enough for a shop item. I'd have to have a few, uh, dimes or something in there. Nickels. Um... Or if you want to drop the, uh... What's it called? Pentagram? You know, I just want to follow the theme of amazing damage jumps, that'd be okay too. 
Yeah, man, all we need now is small rock. They're amazing. Small rock, small rock. Boss, if you want to drop small rock, that'd also be cool. And let's use this thing as... I hate you so much. <laughs> Woo! You gotta avoid me. Not that you really tried to move anyway, you can't just stand there. But hey, can I take two cards with me? I might as well use up the ones I don't like too much. I was able to one hit you, or did I hit you before? I don't know. That's pretty nice though. And health up. I don't really want another health up. It's kind of too many at this point. I mean, hey. No more though. And at this point, I'm going to start doing it down. Nothing personal. It's just because I kind of spirit hearts off the screen, so I kind of keep that in mind. I go about my business. There's nothing first than 12 empty red heart containers and then spirit hearts all over the floor. Unless you have Guppy's Paw, in which case, I mean, knock yourself out. Literally. What do I mean by that? Who knows? Who freaking knows? But hopefully, we don't have to get down to that. Let's double our keys. 14. Good enough for me, man. Whoa. You can't get the range because you're not the blood shooting ones. So I prefer these guys, man. I like them because they're not completely across the room. And you can dodge your attacks by weaving back and forth if you pay enough attention and have enough space. That means you're not for sure hit if you get close and you can just run around dodging attacks, which is always fun. It also means that if they're off screen, they're not going to be able to hit you. Also nice. Hello, greedheads. You know I hate you. You know I do. You know I hate all of you. Don't like you flies. Now they can't hit you if you stand still, but you also probably can't hit them if you stand still, so it's probably best to straight away get out of there, but you can just stand there and they won't hit you when it suddenly knocks them or knocks you. Um I wasn't the greatest, but hey. And what do you want from me? I'll take one of you, I guess. Oh, my frame rate was hiccuping a little bit there, but it sorted itself out before any major problems. Ooh -hoo. I don't really need any reason to blow up these mushrooms. I've already got the all stats up that you can get from it. You can also get a speed up, uh, the mini mushroom, and you can also get some trinkets, some mushroom based trinkets I'm not sure if there's anything else special you can get from them they can also hurt you if you stand too close to them when they blow up just why you don't want to run into them if you're thunder thighs or that lion one which as far as I'm concerned are essentially the same well we're probably going to take damage here so good thing I have it yeah I, I was torn because they can't hit you with their tears if you stand still but they still jump at you so I was trying to do the best both worlds didn't quite work out We'll probably go back to that spirit heart because we'll probably lose it. The hollow, you know what? I'm just going to death you. The angel room. Interesting. The prayer card. I mean, everything is card based, I guess. Woo! Oh no, I took another health up. I said I wasn't going to do that because I didn't want to do that. Dang it. Um, yeah, that, I mean, hmm, I definitely have too much health now. Well, let's go hurt myself a little bit then, because I can lose a heart and a half and still come out at full heart health at the end. Let's go for it, man. Heart and a half of damage, and I still have full health. So... Heart and half because I have one spirit heart waiting for me and my red heart will move over all one heart anyway. Hanged man. Well, let's use the hanged man up. Somewhere. I don't know. Hmm. I know what to do. I get. Mm, I actually don't have enough money for that, do I? 
Hmm. Well, what if you drop somebody? Well, let's take that. There we go. Maybe you got some money and I'll fly over to you. Maybe. Nope. Hmm. What else could I fly to? Yay! I did it. I look very interesting now. And what's in here? Let's do it. Woo! Don't really want you there. Liberty cat is very useful. I was really just wanna like ascent so I could get another use of my card thing. Maybe get another amazing card. Joker card I'm saving for I'll just use next floor so I can get straight away, maybe get a deal with the devil. I might get stuck with a deal with the angel though, which won't be the end of the world if it gave me something amazing. But it's often not. But there are amazing. Well, the problem is, angel rooms is always just one option. Devil rooms is usually more than one. The problem is, there's, there's a few really bad angel rooms, which I think is a little bit sad that there's so many bad ones. Like the Bible, Rosemary, Holy Water, all these. You don't want any of them. And everyone knows that. Well, you know. Took my heart and half damage I was okay with taking. So I managed to do that successfully. Dang, I hate you. You're not as bad as that other guy though. But your fire still is obnoxious. And another key. Cool. Not really necessary though. Oh, almost walked into spikes. Having some trouble with my movement. It would seem. What's over here? Emperor. Okay. Okay, Emperor. Okay. And I'll buy. No, I can't buy you. I guess I'll buy you. And then I'll use. Pick up the other Spirit Heart and I'll be at absolutely full health instead of just half a heart. Oh. Like I was going. My head is huge now. That's that mushroom kicking in. We take. Shrooms and then it kicks in. Some joke about that. Okay. Let's. Shall I look for a super secret room? Could be worth it. And I was right. Let's take it. Because it just. It just gives me the health up now instead of on the next floor. I already had taken the health up, so it wasn't me taking another one. Let's be thankful about that. I don't think I'll lose this one, but I do have an awful amount of red health. It worries me slightly. But when having too much health is your main problem, I think you're in good hands. Let's just go to the boss. I want to fight this boss. I don't want to fight. And I don't mind walking through the final room, but I don't want to get whittled down here. I want to defeat this boss and find out if I get uh, Satan or not. And if not, I'll use the Joker, and if I do, I'll just use it straight away on the next floor. Simple as that. Oh, I think I've reversed Mojo 2 as a boss in a while. I mean, I reverse him all the time in like challenge rooms and stuff, but I feel like as a boss, I probably mostly reverse him in a boss rush. Nah, but that's every boss room. It's most memorable though. Him and that uh, sticky one, Gish. Hate all your red flies. You know that's why I hate you, monster. The real reason I liked in the original game that you could get him trapped jumping back and forth. No, not jumping back and forth, brimstoning back and forth. Is because he couldn't spawn flies when he did that. And that was always nice. Because when he's jumping, every other jump he spawns four stupid shooting red flies. Green flies would have been great. Because then I could just use them to kill you. It would have been fantastic. Oh, well, that was my fault. Brimstone. And die? Ooh. 
Look so close. Come on. There we go. Enter this thing, man. You gave me the money I wanted. But it was too late. Well, Satan we go. Oh, I don't want Satan. Why don't we away one of our red hearts? Pick up two black hearts. And drip blood behind us. Not the greatest thing. Better get rid of all too many red heart problems. Okay. Onwards. Okay. 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 Shall we do this thing? Shall we? Shall we? You know what? Now I want the Emperor card. But I always wanted the Emperor card, so. Big surprise. Ooh. In the face. Okay. Oh, no. Yep, that was me. Don't. Oh, I can't see my health. That's fun for the final floor of the game. Mm, so Are you kidding me? Yeah, at least I got in here for free. But spikes are a full heart of damage, so not even slightly worth it. And you guys are complete and total jokes. You know why I took damage, right? It's a really bad frame rate. Small rock, small rock, please. No, but you're alright. Given the damage I took prior, should I go in two more rooms and just get one one card for the boss fight? Just do it. You never know what you'll get. Maybe you'll get uh, the whole grapple one. Maybe you'll get devil uh, death. Devil would probably be the best though. That'd be cool. Ooh. Yeah, the devil. Magnificent. And then small rock randomly appears in the room. Oh yeah, that's actually possible. You can get into rock, and then she usually stomps down on it. Yeah, so what we want is we want small rock in the boss fight. We want a devil card to come from this deck of cards. Um, and then we'll have spawn every damage up possible. You guys can drop spirit hearts, I believe. That was a weird animation. It looks a little bit strange halfway through that. For like one frame, split frame technology. Okay. Hello, horrible, horrible creatures. Satan spawn. Well, Satan spawn are the ones with eyes. Let's do it. Let's go in this room though. It looks interesting. Let's leave this room though. It looks horrible. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, maybe this is a secret room. I'm just doing this now because I've won, but I'm interested. Okay, no. We've probably won anyway. Let's go. Hey, mom. Yeah, you put your hand on me. You pay for it. Pay for your mistakes, mother. You stupid flies, woman. I wish I had an orbital. Orbitals are so great when you stand next to the eyes like that and then you just like whack into it repetitively. She's not doing much. No, I'm okay with that. Dang it. Ah. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna lose, but I might. If I had some sort of. If I actually did have an orbital, I could just run at her and let the orbital kill her. Have enough hearts. Otherwise, though, I actually do have a chance of dying. Ooh, you thought you could get me? Well, someone got me. Come on. Should we fly? Get out of here. Oh. Dang it. There we go. Oh yes, SMB super fan. Love the item. It's a damage up. So I remember, but I've, I believe it dies your tears for it. So it's not as great a damage up as it may be, but I believe it's pretty good nonetheless. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Before I go, that change out of the way. Next time, I believe is a new challenge run. So see you then. Bye bye.